Hey, what is up everyone? My name is Sean Hodgins and welcome back to my channel. So those of you who have been around a while may remember that around this time last year I did a Kickstarter called the Make 100 and I made something called the ESP Everywhere which was a ESP8266 that you could put on a keychain and had the Kickstarter logo and I made a hundred of them. Well, this year I'm going to try to do it again and if you're watching this video, hopefully the product has launched already. It's called the Pixo Pixel. This is one of the boards. There are two boards. And this time it uses an ESP32 and it will drive 256 of these dot stars or APA 102 2020 LEDs, which are two millimeter by two millimeter LEDs. Adafruit calls them dot stars. They're really cool. And I've seen the bigger versions of the panels um, that are flexible, you can get them on Adafruit. But I haven't seen anything this small. And it's going to be really cool, you can set it up, you can put it on your shelf, you can use it as a clock. You can do all sorts of things with it, it'll have wireless and Bluetooth. And I'm going to build one today, I'm still waiting on the LEDs, so it's going to be a two day project. But build one today, and the point of the Make 100 is that I will be making a hundred assembled versions of these for people if they sign up to the Kickstarter. And hopefully you do. So let's build one and get it working and show you what you can do with it. Let's go. Okay, so we've got all the components on it now, and there doesn't appear to be any bridges or anything. I fixed a few of them. So let's plug it into the computer and see if we can program this ESP32. No smoke. Looks like we're good. Throw a quick program on here. Actually, because I'm going to be using these APA 102 LEDs, I actually have this little board from Adafruit to test them out. This one is 6 by 12. Quite a bit smaller than what ours is going to be, but uh, it'll be a good example. And I've also loaded an image into a program to test it out. So I'll connect these up. It's working. It's very bright. Okay, well that's awesome. So now I just have to wait for these LEDs. They should hopefully come in tomorrow and I'll assemble the other board. For you guys it'll be just like now. All right, we got our LEDs. So let's get that other board populated so we can get this thing built and tested. Let's go. Okay, that's it. It is fully assembled. I haven't tested it yet. There's a lot of LEDs. It was pretty painstaking. In the Make 100, I'm probably gonna get the LED part assembled because I haven't done that before. I've never gotten a mass order of assembled PCBs, so I think that'd be fun, but then I will solder the rest of it myself. If you notice the board, it also has a proto board on the back, so you can add your own components like a temperature sensor or an accelerometer or something like that. So you could 
tap it if it was an alarm clock or you could have it tell you the temperature of your house. You do all sorts of things, humidity sensor. And that's just a little extra feature because there was some extra room on the board. But there's only one thing left to do and that's to plug it in and see how many LEDs didn't solder correctly. Yep, yeah, that uh, might actually be right because the program that's on it right now is only set to like 72 LEDs, yeah. So I think that might be 72 that's lighting up and it's just being weird because a little bit of hot air rework, see if we can get this thing working. Okay, I think everything is fixed. Let's see what happens. Perfect. And it's working. So that is it for part one, me building the hardware. And if you're interested in this, then head over to the Kickstarter and get in there because there's only gonna be a hundred. There's 10 early birds, I think. Yeah. And if you want to build your own and get in the Kickstarter and just get the hardware, there's a hardware one as well. It'll provide you with the standoffs and the spacers and the ESP32 and the boards, but you'll have to source the LEDs and the components. All the components come from DigiKey, so that's easy. And yeah, that's it for part one. Part two is going to be talking about the software and the firmware. I'm developing a Python script that will actually take an image, a 16 by 16 image, and convert it into the L RGB values so you can put your own images on here. I'll also talk about how the firmware works and the different things you can do and provide some example code as well. So stay tuned for that. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Anyways, everyone, you know the deal. Be good and have a good day.